African Resistance Movement, commonly known by its abbreviation, AWP, is an African nationalist neo-Nazi political party in South Africa. Since its founding in 1973 by Eugene Blanche and six other far-right Afrikaners, it has been dedicated to African nationalism and the creation of an independent Pure African Republic in South Africa. During negotiations to end apartheid in the early 1990s, the organization terrorized and killed black South Africans. As of 2016, it is reported that the organization has around 5,000 members and uses social media for recruitment. On 7 July 1973, Eugene Blanche, a former police officer, called a meeting of several men in Heidelberg, Gauteng, in the then Transvaal province of South Africa. He was delusioned by what he thought were Prime Minister P.J. Vosta's liberal views of racial issues in the white minority country after a period in which black majorities had ascended to power in many former colonies. Terry Blanche also worried about what he characterized as communist influences in South African society. He decided to form a group with six other like-minded persons, which they named Afrikaner Resistance Movement, AWP, to promote Afrikaner and Christian nationalism. His associates elected him as head of the group, a position he held until he was murdered on his farm in April 2010. Their objective was to establish an independent Bure state for Bure Afrikaner people only. It was to be independent of apartheid South Africa, which they considered too left-wing and liberal. The AWP was formed to try to regain the ground they thought lost after the Second Bure War. The men intended to re-establish the independent Bure republics of the past, the South African Republic and the Republic of the Orange Free State. The organization was strongly anti-Semitic and advocated for the extermination of South Africa's Jewish population. During the 1970s and 1980s, the AWP attracted several thousand white South Africans as members. They opposed the reform of apartheid laws during the 1980s, harassing liberal politicians and holding large and often quite rowdy political rallies. Terry Blanched used his flamboyant oratorial skills and forceful personality to win converts. He was against the lifting of many so-called petty apartheid laws, such as the law banning interracial sex and marriage, the Race Relations Act, Mixing of Races, Group Areas Act, as well as the government providing limited political rights to Indians and Coloreds. During the state of emergency, AWP violence and murders of unarmed non-whites were reported. The AWP especially opposed the then illegal African National Congress. The ruling National Party considered the AWP to be little more than a fringe group. The group operated relatively unhindered until 1986 when white South African police, SEP, police officers took the unprecedented step of using tear gas against the AWP when they disrupted a national party rally. In 1988, the organization was estimated to have had support amongst 5-7% to of the white South African population. In the Nick Broomfield documentary film, His Big White Self, he claimed the organization reached a peak of half a million support as in its heyday. During the negotiations that led to South Africa's first non-racial elections, the AWP engaged in violence and murder. During the Battle of Fentersdorp in August 1991, the AWP confronted police in front of the town hall where State President F.W. de Klerk was speaking and a number of people were killed or injured in the conflict. Later in the negotiations, the AWP stormed the Kempton Park World Trade Center where the negotiations were taking place, breaking through the glass front of the building with an armored car. The police guarding the center failed to prevent the invasion. The invaders then took over the main conference hall, threatening delegates and painting slogans on the walls, but left again after a short period. Six AWP members were sentenced to death for the murder of four black people at a fake roadblock they set up to terrorize black travelers. On 4 July 1990, members of the AWP detonated an explosive against the Fry Week Blood newspaper, which they had accused of having a liberal bias. This was the most serious attack in a string of explosive attacks. It was not until 20 March of the following year that a series of attacks hit the city of Fentersdorp, leaving only material damage. In 1988, the AWP was beset by scandal when claims that Terry Blanche had had an affair with journalist Johnny Allen surfaced. 
In July 1989, Cornelius Loitering, a member of a breakaway FWB group, Order of Death, attempted to assassinate Ellen by placing a bomb outside her sentin apartment. Nick Broomfield's 1991 documentary, The Leader, His Driver and the Driver's Wife, claimed that Terry Blanche had sex with Alan, a claim she denied. This led to Alan taking libel proceedings against the documentary broadcaster, Channel 4, in 1992 at the London High Court. During the trial, several transcripts of the alleged unconventional sexual positions appeared in the South African and British press. Terry Blanche also submitted a sworn statement to the London Court denying that he had had an affair with Allen. Although the judge found that Channel's four allegations had not defamed Allen, he did not rule on whether or not there had been an affair. On 28 April 1994, members of the AWB beat up African-American reporter Mike and Allen of the New York Times while covering an AWB mobilization in Rustenburg. Despite the fact that the reporter was punched and kicked by several members of the AWB, his injuries were not serious. In 1994, before the advent of majority rule, the AWB gained international notoriety in its attempt to defend the dictatorial government of Lucas Mangope in the homeland of Puputatswana. The AWB, along with a contingent of about 90 African Air Force Front militiamen, entered the capital Mabatu on 10 and 11 March. The black policemen and soldiers of Puputatswana Defense Force who were out in force to support President Mangope disappeared from the streets in protest at the AWB's actions and later turned on the militiamen at the airport at Mafikeng. One AWB member was shot and killed when the convoy attempted to leave the airport and continue on to Mabatu. When in Mabatu, the AWB and the Afrikaner Fox Front found themselves under continuous siege from both the Buputatswana Defense Force and Mabatu citizens. When attempting to retreat from Mabatu on 11 March, three AWB members were killed after they had been wounded in a firefight by a rogue Buputatswana Defense Force member who defected to the ANC. Nearby photojournalists and television news crews recorded the incident, which proved to be a public relations disaster for the AWB, demoralizing its white members. The AWB claimed that they were asked into the country and only entered trying to help the Buputatswana government, but the Tebat Commission found the evidence is overwhelming that they entered the area uninvited and that they were not welcome there. On 24 December 1996, members of the AWB planted two explosive devices at a ShopRite supermarket in Wilchester, South Africa, killing four civilians and wounding 60 more, approximately. Only two of the four bombs that had been installed detonated. Despite this, the explosion killed four civilians, including three children. It was not until September 2013 when the victims and the perpetrators of the attack spoke, thanks to the initiative of the victim aggressor dialogue program. On 17 June 2001, Terry Blanche was sentenced to six years in prison for assaulting a petrol station employee, John Nzema, to such an extent as to cause permanent brain damage and the attempted murder of a security guard and former employee, Paul Mutsabi. Terry Blanche was released in June 2004 after serving three years in Royhron prison near Mafiking. During his time in prison, he became a born-again Christian and claimed he had murdered many of his more ethno-nationalist views and preached reconciliation as prescribed by God. In March 2008, the AWB announced it was reactivating for populist reasons, citing the encouragement of the public. Reasons for their return include the electricity crisis, corruption across government departments, and rampant crime. The Mail and Guardian newspaper reported in 2008 that the AWB group has over 5,000 members and a appeals to 18 to 35 year olds to join the organization's youth wing. The South African press reported in 2016 that the AWB continued to use social media to recruit new members. In 2010, Terry Blanche was murdered by an employee on his farm and Stein von Ronge was announced as the new leader of the organization. 